UK Israeli mother dies after West Bank shooting backslash. A British Israeli woman has died after a suspected Palestinian gun attack on Friday, in which two of her daughters were also killed. Lucy D, 45, had been in a coma since the attack in the occupied West Bank. Her daughters Rena, 15, and Maya, 20, were buried on Sunday in the settlement of Kfar Etzion, with their father and three surviving siblings present. The family moved to Israel nine years ago from the UK, where Lucy's husband, Leo, had served as a rabbi. Thousands of mourners attended the emotionally charged funeral of the sisters, where Rabbi de eulogized them. Ein Karim Hospital in Jerusalem announced that Lucy, who was also known by her Hebrew name, Leah, D had died on Monday morning despite great and constant efforts. Speaking hours after his wife's death, Rabbi D said, My beautiful wife, Lucy, and myself tried to raise our children with good values and to do good and bring more good into the world, calling the attack pure evil. Alas, our family of seven is now a family of four, he said. Lucy, Rena and Maya were shot at as they were driving in the Jordan Valley in the northern West Bank on their way to a family holiday. Their vehicle crashed and the gunman went up to the car and opened fire on the women at close range, Israeli media quoted investigators as saying. Israeli public broadcaster Ken reported that 22 bullet casings were found, apparently from a Kalashnikov assault rifle. Rabbi D had been further ahead in a separate car when his sister called him with news of the attack. He said he tried to call his wife and daughters but they did not answer. He then saw a missed call from Maya from the time of the attack. He said another daughter who was with him saw a photo posted on Instagram by the driver of a car which passed the attacked car and they recognized one of their suitcases on the back seat of the vehicle. The emergency services were already at the scene of the attack, near the settlement of Hamra, when he got there. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu tweeted that he sent his heartfelt condolences to the D family, on the death of the mother of the family, Leah, Lucy, who was murdered in the severe terror attack in the Jordan Valley. Radlett United Synagogue in Hertfordshire, to which the Dees had belonged, said the community was devastated at the terrible news of Lucy and her daughter's deaths. We and the world have been robbed of their presence, but their light can never be extinguished, it said in a statement. The Israel Defense Forces, IDF, launched a hunt for the perpetrators following the attack, which came at a time of spiraling tensions between Israel and the Palestinians. Place, but in the last couple of days, they've taken a slightly different tactic. They've allowed people to stay inside the mosque and have simply increased security between the two groups of people as those Jewish visitors um, crossed over the compound. They've also made efforts to keep young men um, out of, of, of the mosque at the same time. So um, I think we've seen a, a reduction in tensions in the Al-Aqsa compound itself over the past couple of days. But in terms of the wider region, the tensions are still fairly high.